This is a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is just a quick video to show you how to change the serpentine belt. And here it is. The belt comes with a little, uh, little guide here. We have the 4 liter engine, so we're going to be using this guy right here. Uh, you can see that it goes around the belt tensioner right there on the left, a little bit indented. The thing on the top left is the alternator. So the belt uh, wraps around the top of the power steering pump, then heads straight down, goes around that big pulley down there, comes back up, wraps around this main uh, fan. I don't know, I guess it doesn't turn with the fan, but when you move the fan, it doesn't move. <clears throat> and from there, it heads down and wraps around the main uh, pulley there at the bottom. It c and then it comes straight back up, goes around the belt tensioner, which is below here, and it comes up around the top of the alternator and goes underneath this idler and then continues back over the power steering pump. So we're going to try to take that off with this wrench. So here we go. So in order to reduce the belt tension to get it off, I'm going to use this Harbor Freight half inch. That's how big it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look. So right there is your alternator, and right there is your belt tensioner. Let's zoom in on that. And right on your belt tensioner, you see that little square, little cave there? That's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for this guy right in there. I've got it on there. Okay, let's see if I can get the belt off single-handedly. That's going to be a little tough, isn't it? But, yep, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's sliding right off a little bit. I can see this is going to work. It's kind of hard to show you. With, so I got half off right there. Okay, that's just going to come off. So uh, I'm going to pull this guy out. So it comes off really easily. And um, so what I noticed, you know, when you're taking it off, I started taking it off here at the alternator. And then it, uh, you can feed it back through. You know, you don't have to wrap it around a fan, right? So, um, so what we're going to do is when we reinstall the new one, is we're going to first wrap it around the large pulley at the bottom, which is the belt is still attached there. Well, this is the old belt. Okay, so we're going to wrap it around there first, and then start weaving it back up through. Okay. Okay, here's the old one out. And I'm uh, going to compare it to the new one. Here's the new belt on the outside. Looks super smooth. On the inside, no cracks. Looks really good. All right, let's go put it in. So we're going to do this in the reverse, in the reverse order. So we're going to put it around the large uh, pulley at the very bottom first. So we're going to weave it down in there, and then we're going to get under the car, wrap it around that first pulley. Okay, I got the belt all wrapped around again. Uh, we started at the very bottom with the largest pulley. First thing I did was I, I threaded the, the belt all the way down through and got under the car and wrapped it around the main pulley and then fed it back up. It seems just, just to be the easiest way to do it. And so now here I am about ready to uh, put it back on the alternator. And I have this, uh, I'm going to reduce the tension on the belt with the tensioner with this uh, wrench. So I'm pulling that back. Now the tension's coming off. Now I'm going to just ease it right over top. And there, it's on. That's it. I think we're done. Okay, so that went on very easily. We started by wrapping it around the main pulley down on the bottom. So I fed the I fed the uh, the belt in from the top here, 
and pushed it down past the fan on the left side, got under the car, wrapped it around the, the large pulley, and fed it back up a little bit, and then came up and uh, just, it just easily it just wrapped right over this direction to the right, wrapped it around those two pulleys, brought it over under this guy, and then I was in position, and I grabbed my wrench, and uh, released the tension again, slipped it right over, went on really easily. All right, there she is. I hear a vibration, so we're gonna have to go investigate that. Seems like there's more problems with this vehicle. Sounds like a bearing or something. So it looks like we'll be back. Okay, we got a new belt in. Looks great. All right, that was it. Thanks for watching.